Welcome back to Soul Canyon Kitchen. Ciao tutti. Today we're making pastelillos de guayaba. Oh, I can't wait. It's guava and cream cheese filled puff pastries, a traditional Puerto Rican. Uh... It is. You know, it's kind of Puerto Rican street food, but I just remember this in all the little markets on all the corners. You mm -hmm. go in and there are little holes in the wall. People buy their local people buy their groceries there sometimes, and there was always like a little case of pastries. And I always remember these, and just the smell of guava brings uh, me back to those days. Uh, aroma can be so nostalgic. It just brings me back to my childhood. And although they're super easy, we're making we're making them real easy. Real easy because if you made your own puff pastry, that would be a whole day. Yeah. So I can't wait though for people to try these and just. The combination of the cream cheese I can't and the guava. Wait. Oh, I can't wait. And also this guava paste, they're not just for this particular recipe. No. It's a really versatile ingredient to it have. It is. You know, people can put it on toast. And if you didn't have vegan puff pastry, because obviously it's filled with a lot of butter, so you need to Traditional find yeah, recipes are. Right. But if you get if you can get the box of vegan puff pastry, it's worth it. But if not, yeah, tell them how it comes. So this is just a sheet of our puff, vegan puff pastry that we bought. Um, so this is a trifold. It's probably hard to tell from there, but this is a trifold of puff pastry. And all we did, according to whatever size we wanted to have our puff pastries, um, we cut it in thirds. Yeah, you can see basically on our tray, yeah. see this is one sheet, two, and three. And then we do the same for the top. And, and the guava paste comes like this, but it also can come in a plastic container that's much thicker and it's more spooned out or you can cut it like pie shape but it's usually called guava paste and I tried to look for the healthiest one I couldn't find organic mm -hmm. but make sure you look because you don't want any fillers and all this stuff like guar gum this is pretty much this just is guava really, sugar yeah so yeah it's really delicious though I'm, uh, I'm excited I'm really this. excited it's been a long time since I had one of these uh. Yeah. All right. Okay, ready? Well, we'll, yeah, let's get started. So first, we have our vegan cream cheese, and we're gonna spoon that into each one. Yeah, heavy on the filling. That's that's. Go ahead and go heavy on the filling in mine. But what you want, you want to make sure you have Spark. enough on the edges. Right? Enough room around the edge so that you can seal the pastries closed, right? is yep. the unfinished pastry with the cream cheese and a couple slices of paste and and I guarantee you in the markets they don't put that much cream cheese but that's probably to save a little money not yeah. for flavor right you, you don't slice. have to but we're gonna actually put little slits in the top of ours just uh four let's do four for visual one. yeah Love that. God, I can't wait for these to be done. It won't be that much longer. Patience. Time and patience.
Okay. Looks good. Yeah, nice. And see how the slits opened up so it just makes it more beautiful and then can also breathe and melt mm. everything in there. But Final touch though. We're just going to put a little bit of milk to help brown the tops. Yeah, this is totally optional. Just, uh, yeah, brushing well, I, the... I, honestly, they wins. won't. They'll look so much better if you do it. So I really recommend doing it and it can be any plant-based milk. Okay, I think that's looking good. Gorgeous. So, our oven has been preheating at 400 degrees. So, we're gonna pop these babies in there, maybe check in like 15 minutes. Yeah. And I think that's good. See. Yeah. Till golden. Yes. Oh, yes. Can't wait. Oh, gorgeous. See how much they puffed up? That looks amazing. Fantastic. And I love that you can see the glitter yeah, through. Yeah, I'm so glad we did that. Isn't that great? And that I really want people to see. That's why puff pastry lifts up and you see it in all oh, the, the flaky layers. layers. Ooh, yeah, so wait. let's just put one on here for a second. Just, cool. I just want to bring this close because you can see like all the layers. See all the layers? That's Gorgeous. What, that's what puff pastry is. Gorgeous. Obviously, if you didn't have puff pastry. And look. Mm, so love those. we yeah we want to add some powdered sugar to ours because why not right first so, of all it well only it'll be delicious no. but how beautiful it so looks gorgeous with, and it's traditional to it I, is, yeah. I remember it okay. on there beautiful we'll just start pack. oh I can't wait to try one of these we got to try them while they're still hot Look at the flakiness, the, the layers, the flaky layers. And you know what? Like, mm. it's so light. It is. It is so light. Gorge. Beautiful, though. Oh. Doesn't it look great? Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> I just got the edge of the guava. I only got a tiny bit of guava, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. See? Wow. The edge. God, I love how flaky wow. this is. Even though it's vegan, it's such a butteriness to it. Well, that's not the cool thing through. anymore. You can have vegan. There's yeah. no reason not to eat vegan anymore. The contrast yeah. of the cream cheese and the guava. This Isn't that is good? fantastic. Yeah, it is the combo. I know people mm. will ask, what can I do if I can't get the guava? You can buy it, the guava paste, really, international markets sell it. It's so easy to get online and it's not expensive. And this is phenomenal. This is incredible. I'm so in love with this. I didn't know how badly I wanted these. How badly I need these. Dead. Over the moon. Over the moon for these. But the combo of the cream cheese and the guava melting together with the crunchy, flaky pastry. Mm. And stay tuned for the soul question. Man. That's so good. Yeah. So good.
So Deb, I wanted to ask you, what is a lifestyle habit that you've adopted that has been really life-changing for you? Hmm. Well, I think there's many things that are really important for healthy lifestyle, but the one for me that's been life-changing has been my saunas. Saunas, yeah. I, and I have a sauna in my house because I was sick from chemicals. Yeah. And I really would say that that was the single biggest thing that I could really tell the difference when I started healing. Really? Was taking my saunas. I did them every day when I got it, and I try to do it minimum three times a week now still. I'd like to do it five times a week, but sometimes I just, life gets in the way and yeah. I'm busy, but absolutely one of the best things you can do. Your sauna. And can I ask what kind of sauna it is? Because there's a few. There different. are, there are, that's a good question. It's an infrared sauna mm -hmm. and that's really important. Can you explain briefly what that the means? The temperature gets to 138 uh -huh. and it goes deep into your skin because in order to detox you need to get into the fat cells. Okay. And so Because the toxins just, are stored in fat. Exactly. And so when you do an infrared sauna, it, it the heat goes deeper in than if you sit in a dry sauna. Okay. And this is a dry sauna also, but I'm talking about just either a steam sauna sure. or one of those that get even hotter, right? right? But infrared goes penetrates deeper. penetrates deeper into the fat cells so you can sweat the toxins out. That's so interesting. I never really knew the details. Of yeah, it's amazing and not that expensive for really? how life-changing it is. Like I think the sauna I bought was $1,500. Uh -huh. And I'll tell you, it was worth every single penny because for 15 years I've used it three to seven days a week. Wow. Fantastic. Worthy investment. For sure. You just need the space to keep it. <laughs> right. Okay, very cool.